On this episode of Tooth and Claw TV, we're on an afternoon coyote stand. It's, it's pretty cold out. We got a little bit of snow on the ground and I'm on the camera and I'm on the gun hunting solo on this hunt. We'll see what happens. No, I think <clears throat> I think I might have hit low on that joker there. Kind of caught me off by surprise. Been calling forever. Bang! I'm pretty sure I hit it, but it seemed like it might have been low. Hopefully, we'll get him. I'm Stephen Doby, bear and fur bear program coordinator with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. And, and it's late winter, most of the major hunting seasons are over and you've still got that itch to get out there and give it a try. I'd strongly make, recommend some late winter coyote hunting. Um, you're gonna have to deal with the elements, but it can be very exciting. Just remember most of the hunting activity is gonna be territorial based, um, but we've got a lot of good information on our website. And if you'd like more information about coyotes and hunting, visit fw.ky.gov or like us on Facebook. All right, got about up here where, yeah, where he's done across his trail or he's come across. He's about another five yards there until where I hit him, he dropped. Oh yeah, there's blood run up there and hit that tree blood all over it. Run on in here, see if I can't find him. Like I said, he's done went about 20 yards so he can't be up here too much farther. There he is. Yeah, he's run about 20 yards to the woods, about another 10 yards up in here to the right. Cow down. Looks pretty daggone good to me, I don't know. Well, here we are with another successful coyote stand. Come out here this evening, I'm hunting by myself. I'm behind the camera and on the gun. You know, I started out with just some light prey distress, run some bird distress actually. Run it for about five minutes and switched over to some female house, run two different sets of female house, then switched over to a pup distress. And here is a little old female come running out. I probably could have kept calling. She'd probably close the distance a little bit more, but I made about a, I don't know, about a 200 yard shot, I guess. And, Looks like I smoked her, but for some reason she took off running a little bit. We're used to them just dropping, but she didn't run maybe, maybe 30 to 40 yards was it. Pumped to get another coyote down. You know, anytime you kill a coyote, I feel like it's an accomplishment, but you know, to, to be running a camera and be on the gun at the same time, it, it makes you feel like you've really done something. And uh, 
Now this coyote hunt worked out perfect for doing that. You know, we started out with uh, woodpecker distress and then went into our uh, breeding season sequence. And a coyote come out at the tail end of the coyote stand. It stopped right out there perfect for me, right out in front of the camera, right out there in the middle of that cut. Put a good shot on it. It did run a few yards, but it's easy find. And man, it made for a fun hunt. Thanks for joining us on Tooth & Claw TV.